before that please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also let's start writing the code i am going to open my code editor and we will use microsoft visual studio code in this video in this video we are using two modules which are printer and py dictionary printer is a built in module if you want to explore more built in modules search python built in modules in it then open docs.python.org link is given in the description box and the second module is py dictionary Py dictionary module helps us to find meaning of specific word entered by the user in our Gmail. We have to install this module in our terminal by writing pip install py dictionary. After importing this module, I will add a command here which is pip install py dictionary. Now I will define a class name root. Then I will write is equal to tk in. Let's define our GUI geometry now. I will make it 325x one this way. Six three twenty five is width and one fifteen height. Then I will define title of our G one, which is dictionary. After this, I will configure my G one X background. I will do it blank. I will create a widget of center which is end. Entry widget help us to get input from the user. Now I will put parentheses. In these parentheses, I will type root and we want to add this entry in root window. Now add a comma. Then define entries font here. Type font is equal to add parentheses. Then with quotation marks and type your favorite font here. Now add a comma then type thirty font size. Your next attribute is bold. If you want to add bold effect in your text, type bold. This is optional. Next attribute is BG. Background color of our entry. I have selected green. Next attribute is FG means foreground, which I selected black. Now add a button for our app. Let's create a variable for button. Type button then add parentheses. Then type root after that add text for button. Next is font, which is same as entries font. Next attributes are BG and FG, which are also same as entries BG and FG. Now type e dot place parenthesis x is equal to ten comma y is equal to ten. Next 
line type btn dot play x is equal to 85 comma y is equal to 75. Then we define a main function named find menu. Now we will create a variable named word. In this variable, we will type e dot get add parenthesis. In next line, we will create a new variable named meaning. In this variable, we will type pydictionary.pydictionary.meaning. After that, we will add parentheses. In these parentheses, we will type word because we want to find meaning of word user enter. Now we defined our main function. Let's add this function to our button as a command. Type command is equal to find underscore meaning after fg. Final step is we will write root dot main loop parenthesis at the end of Python script. Now let's run this program. Now let's run this program. So we got the meaning of hello. Now an expression of greeting. So friends, I hope you liked my video. Please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Please like, share and comment on this video. Thanks for watching.